afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store. Luke Weaver will be the one towing the rubber for the Diamondbacks. What's your take on him, Dan? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough goal that so far this year. Let's see if he can. On its way, the 0-2 pitch to third. And there's one away. Got it, got it. The Javier Baez. Here's Javier Baez. His batter pitcher numbers with Luke Weaver. He has nine base hits in 18 at-bats. And of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. Ahmed takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Batting third. So striding forward now, Albert Almora. First chance Almora. for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Drilled on the ground is short. Ahmed has it. What a play, and that ends the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Eduardo Escobar. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98 0 oh 1. Dan Dero, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. So stepping in, Nick Ahmed. Only one hit for him in his last four ball games. Behind 0 2 now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well, at the rate he's going, he's going to strike out 27 on 81 pitches. Not throw a single ball and, and toss a perfect game. Obviously, I'm kidding. But you can't start. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. All set for the start of the inning. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. Hit sharply on the ground. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees. And he's on to open up the inning. So a base hit here to start the inning. And he continues to pile them up as we take a look at our league leaders in hits so far. And as you see there, he's sitting in second place in the National League in that department. Here's Jason Hayward now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that one is gone! Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens, you throw him a strike, and he can hit the ball all the ballpark like he did just there. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay throw. Well, he is in there with a triple. That is tough. The second base. Ryan. Into the box, Ryan Sandberg, and it's fouled away. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Here's a ground ball for Ahmed at short. Reined in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So in now for Chicago, Wilson Contreras, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. And just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Batting up. The pitcher, number 22, Mark Pryor. Into the box now, Mark Pryor. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. In now, Ernie Banks. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. 
Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels oh. down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, Dero, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistent. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But they strike. Here comes the first pitch. Leading off for the Diamondbacks. David Peralta is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. So it was a swinging Matic strike hit. three. David Double Peralta eight. becomes yep. the first out here in the bottom of the second. No balls in one strike. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. And there are two away now. Here's the first pitch to him. Stephen Vogt is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. On the move is Hayward. Into the corner, he makes the catch to end the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. And with it comes Javi Baez to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard on the ground is short. Ahmed fields it cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now that the seventh field. So here's Albert Almora next. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Here's the 0 1. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. Pulled the string on him. Strike three swinging. Vote gathers and he makes the throw to first. Almora is retired. Two down now. Now bat. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, the left handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Here's a fly ball well hit. Calhoun has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for. Welcome back. As the Diamondbacks look to get the offense going here in the third, this is the lineup that has had its struggles this season. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves, but we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening. So he's optimistic about what the future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. All right, Heidi, thank you. Williams has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Batting it. The second base. First pitch of the at bat. Hildemaro Vargas comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Behind 0-2 okay. now. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Coming to the plate now, the Batting pitcher for the Diamondbacks, no Luke Weaver. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Strike one to start the at-bat. 
And he fouls this one off. And now pitch on the way. Fouled off. The next 0 2. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Here's another 0 2. And he popped him up. Baez onto the grass. He can't get there as it falls in. Hey, that's a win win right there. Solid A B by the pitcher after battling, making this pitcher work and executing and getting a result. Job well done. And he fouls this one off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count. Hater caught too much of the zone. Fouled off. Weaver, the runner at first with two gone. Popped him up. Banks shading to his right. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One left for Eric. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. The windup and the 0 1. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Shoots this one over to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. The 01 on its way. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. So now to the plate, Ryan Sandberg. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Marte gloves it. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. One for one after a single this first time up. Comes set, and the 0-1. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Four runs, six hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Pitch is way outside, and he can't even get a glove on it. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. From the stretch. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. And maybe some miscommunication there as the throw zips right by him. And lucky for them, the right fielder is there to back up the throw. Now batting. The pitcher. So it's second and third following the error. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Mark Pryor. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit hard towards center. That's in there. Base hit. And the second run will score as well as they've opened it up to 6 nothing now. Boy, Dero, talk about adding insult to injury right there. And the pitcher gets a two RBI base hit. Yeah, and if he throws a gem, Dan, without question, he's getting his name in the box. He's all over the box scoring this one. Ribbies, innings pitch, strikeouts, all of the above. 
Corbin Martin answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. He settles under it and makes the catch in the deepest confine of the ballpark. And that brings up Javi Baez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Tapped out in front of home. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Nick Ahmed. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. So it was a strikeout swinging. Nick Ahmed is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. The windup and the 0 1. High in the air into shallow left center. Almora races in. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So two are gone now in the Diamondbacks' fourth. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Fouled away. No runs, just one hit and one error in the ballgame for Arizona. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's 1-2. and two. Well, this is a... Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Diamondbacks down. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said it was clear his guys were locked into their at-bats from the very first pitch. And that's something they emphasized in the pregame meetings. He's happy they got the message, as now they've gotten into the bullpen. And they put up some solid run production in the early part of this game. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Hard hit at third. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Anthony Rizzo stands in now, and he'll watch oh. one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. Oh. This year no against right-handed pitching, Rizzo brings in a batting line above the 450 mark. Do not sleep on a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Into the pool area and gone. A two-run shot off the bat of Anthony Rizzo. And that is 27 for him on the year as they've widened this lead to eight now. now we've seen these guys go deep right three team. times so far in this one, guys. Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting that night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. Now, you know what's funny, D. Rowe, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter. And so far, that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Drilled right back up the middle. There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Ryan Sandberg. And there's a base hit on the line. Around first, digging for two. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Pitch inside the throw, and he will be nailed at third on a questionable decision, to say the least, in the inning. And back in Phoenix as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lovello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production, and he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in there. 
about that for the rest of the game. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Thank you, Heidi. Still no balls and two strikes. The next 0-2. Is swung on and missed strike three. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the, the fifth bat. as we check out the, the league captain. leaderboard for Team ERA. And we find that this pitching staff currently leads the NL in that department. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Vogt has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really oh, sharp out the there, guys. The right Cole Calhoun ah, will stand in for the second Calhoun. time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Not an easy Three. thing to do to fill up the strike zone and oh, be two. successful doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So one... Two. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and now it'll be the catcher, Wilson the catcher. Contreras. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's ball. inside for a ball. One and oh. One ball. No strike. Contreras swings, and this is well hit to left. Gone to lead off the inning. Mike Leake gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. At the plate, Mark Pryor. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Now batting. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might bend foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good-looking swing. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. Now batting. Third base. Into the box, Javier Baez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. On to second, but he's in safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there, and I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. The 0 2 pitch. Ball. That was a tempting One, pitch two. to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Peralta is under it. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Anthony Rizzo. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Hit out towards second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Ildemaro Vargas. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. That's ten strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. And it's fouled away. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. Two home runs and 11 RBIs. Behind 0-2 now. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. 
And he'll continue this roll he's on. Make it six strikeouts in a row. Gracious, two away. The third base. He's just Number ringing five. up strikeouts left and, and right. But down. what's really impressive to me, he hasn't ball. walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And, oh, did he stay with that? He did, but it was ugly looking. Diamondbacks down in order. They trap. Merrill Kelly comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arm. Number 29. Merrill. Now here's the pitch. Line towards center field. Marte is there, and he has it for the first out. Now back. Ready for another shot now. Billy Williams. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left, his second of the game as this lead got even wider. Now batting. The Standing in now, Ryan, Ryan. Sandberg. Sandberg. As he'll take a look at ball one. So far, two for three in this one. Weekly hit to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. The catcher, number four, Wilson. Contrera. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left field. And it's gone. Hey, I've seen a lot of things in my time, but I'm not sure I ever remember a player. For this hot. Two home runs yesterday, another two home runs today. He could market and sell whatever pregame meals he's feasting on because he looks unstoppable right now. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was. They're looking at the replay in order to make a decision on challenging the out call on the field. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout. But here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire. First pitch on its way. Here's a pop-up now. Escobar is under it. And that retires the side. Craig Kimbrell comes on to pitch from bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. Nick Ahmed is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land untouched. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour, but it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. And he strikes him out as well, so make it back-to-back punch-outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. David Peralta stands in as he can't connect here, 0-1-1. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. And he's struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes. New inning set to get underway. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. Here comes the first pitch. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Dan, right here you see a situation where... 
no Cowboy. doubles defense can, comes back to bite Cowboy. you as a pitcher. Cowboy. Are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Row. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. Gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Number 26 for him on the season as they just continue to pour it on here. I'll tell you, guys are scrambling in the dugout to get to the plate now, and I can't blame them. Seem like everyone's getting in on the action. That's the seventh home run of the game when it rains and pours, I guess. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. High and deep to right center. Center fielder looking up. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. Almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? Yeah, Matt, you know what, d -Roll? We got up this morning for this day game here. We were expecting a high-scoring game, but, boy, we haven't been disappointed. Yeah, you take the temperature of a lot of guys in the league. They definitely will tell you they see the ball better at, in the daytime than they do at night. Case in point today, ball was jumping off the bats of both lineups. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Now back. Right. The next hub up, Billy Williams. He looked to keep it going three for four so far in the ball game. The last at that, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fast. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching this guy. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. And that's through into left, a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Boy, this guy is off to some kind of series, and he's one of the better road hitters in all of baseball. Yeah, and some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road. And the runner from third crosses the plate. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Wow, this has been a memorable game, but for all the wrong reasons. They've given up a staggering 18 runs here, and they can't go home yet. Can you say painful? High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ernie Banks, attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. Reined in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first. Here comes the first pitch. Christian Walker is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Fouled off. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Christian Walker becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Stephen Vogt is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Hit sharply on the ground. And there's out number two. At the plate, Cole Calhoun. He's 0-2 in the ballgame so far. Baez fields it cleanly. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. All set to start the ninth in this one. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Javier Baez. First delivery to him on the way. Hard on the ground towards short. And that is in the left field. So the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. The center field, number five, Albert Almora. 
And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora Jr. One there, and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. The first base, Next will be the cleanup hitter, Anthony Rizzo. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Pulled toward right center field. Marte is there as he had to travel a ways, but he makes the catch deep in the alley for the second out. Into the box now, Jason Hayward. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here. Into the box now, Ildemaro Vargas starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Sometimes you just can't overthink it. If a guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw him anything else? Case in point, this guy's cold zone is away, and this pitcher keeps attacking that exact spot. Scooped up, throw to first, takes care of him, and now the Diamondbacks are down to their final out. Now batting, third baseman. First offering on its way. Eduardo Escobar is next as he finds himself behind 0 1. Kimbrell pauses. Here it is. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. 19 to nothing the final this afternoon.